A very common concern, of course, is really once a week? That's all I need, once a week? And it's understandable. We've been taught and brainwashed, if you will, that we have to work out a lot. But when, again, when we talk about once a week, remember we're specifically talking about building muscle. It takes just one workout a week to build muscle. And how is that? Well, we have to kind of realize that when you work out so deeply and you fatigue those muscles so deeply, the process of building muscle from that stimulus is not overnight. It's not even 48 hours. There's a biological repair process that's occurring. We feel sore for two days later, and when that soreness goes away, there's still a whole other process left to repair and build on muscle. It's very common for people to think that once the soreness goes away, that they can start working out again, but that's not really true. I liken it to getting a cut on your hand, for example, and you get a scab. Now the thing is, just because the bleeding stops and the scab forms, doesn't mean it's healed completely yet. And if you keep picking away at that scab, it's not going to heal. All right, you have to let the whole process occur. And the biological process of actually repairing a scab, or, or a cut, I should say, is very similar to the biological process of repairing uh, muscle. So remember, that process, you've got to give it time. You've got to let nature take its course. And again, if you keep picking at that scab, you're going to overtrain, and you're going to end up actually not getting the muscle stronger. You can actually do the opposite. You can actually start becoming weaker. You can lower your immune system. You'll have high stress hormones floating around. Romantically, culturally, we all think we need more. More is better. Just not in this case.